What's going on guys, Dane here, and today we are the mage with a one, so we are going a fire build, you already know, that means we're going to be going, uh, look, 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 I don't want to spoil the works, how you guys doing man, I'm over here, it's kind of early today bro, it's like almost one bro, it's almost 1pm for me right now. This is late in the day. Uh, you know, we're up here uh, potatoing out. We're Mr. Potato Head. 52 bucks in the first wave is actually kind of a lot. I'm cool with it, man. Give me the whole enchilada on that one. We're going to take the speed up. Uh, I'm a big fan of the mage. We're going an elemental build with this man, right? He is the mage. Uh, he gets more elemental uh, damage every time you get an upgrade for such things. I love early rerolling, by the way. I think early rerolling is huge in this game. I don't know if I go to the torch. I apparently did. It does do fire damage and melee damage. So does the knife. I think it's kind of a nice combination to have if you have both. Uh, I'm cool with it. The The mage gets more elemental damage, um, which is beautiful. He also has minus 100 range, minus 100 melee damage. So good luck like compensating for that. He has minus 100 engineering, so don't even bother buying robots. He is a very weird character. He does not like to win games is what he doesn't like, but we are over here making sure that we unlock our rank 1 for every single character, not just the ones that we have. So if we win with this man right here, we do have rank 1 unlocked for, or uh, uh, difficulty 1 unlocked for every single character. This is the final win that I need apparently. I, I thought it might be only one win and then everyone has difficulty one. It is not. Uh, this is going to be my third win now, I think. Maybe, uh, yeah, I think third. Uh, so it's beautiful, man. Uh, we're going to take, uh, all these are going to be frozen. We have 16 bucks on us. We're going to go ahead and let that be what it is. Uh, we're going to take our advances. We're going to take our uh, dangerous torch. I don't like the torch that much, okay? Uh, all of our detriments aside, the fact of the matter is all we are is an element damage bot. When we are the mage, we're cool with it. Uh, it's just what we're doing, right? It's that or nothing. Um, I'm cool with it, uh, but what we do know is that we need money because we need to make element damage pop off, which means we need a lot of fire synergy. We need a lot of, uh, you know, just element damage in general. That plus one element damage, it gets boosted. We get a bonus for everyone we pick up. We get another sheath. We get sausage fingers, which actually goes ahead and gives us more. Uh, it applies fire to people with a chance every time we attack people, right? So there's always a chance. We're going to take the melee damage. I think locking the melee damage up is a mistake. I, I hope I catch this mistake. We don't need melee damage up. Maybe it's just the crit chance I wanted, which is okay. Uh, our crit chance is not hurt at all, I don't believe. Uh, so that's fine, but like I definitely shouldn't be like going for a melee damage up item and locking a normal melee damage up item when our melee damage at negative 100 means we're not doing melee damage. We're doing element damage, which the knife does, but it's only the shot, I believe, after it strikes for the most part. It does 50% other than that on the actual blade itself. Uh, so like the blade, it's, hel it's really nice. It's nicer than it appears. There's two chances to trigger when the shot comes off after you attack somebody with it uh, to do big damage as long as you have that element up. Now, uh, the range up, right? Is that what I took? Yeah, 6% damage up is kind of gorgeous. I did unlock the melee up. I'm probably going to take the taser. It slows enemies down, and it does do damage based off of element, which is beautiful. Uh, we're going to lock Scar all day, and I think here, I think you just let that be what it is. I don't think you take the shredder. I don't think you abandon your game plan for a blue weapon. You might for an orange weapon, or a purple weapon this early on. This early on, a purple weapon, I might say, screw it, just take it. Uh, blue weapon, no way. Can't can't just take something random as hell. Not blue. Not doing it. Uh, can't convince me otherwise. Anyways, how you guys doing, man? Uh, this is a kind of disgusting run. We're destroying worlds. Uh, we're, we're, we're making everybody feel like they belong to us, and they kind of do. That's kind of the best part about it. Uh... The damage is crazy. The taser slows people, which is kind of cool. Uh, the big thing about it, though, is that it's just big damage. It's basically just another wand to me in my eyes. And by the way, I know I have a lot of weapons that can merge right now. I don't like merging my weapons. Plus two element all day. It gets that 50% bonus uh, for how much it gives us. So we basically got three right there. Uh, two elemental damage over there is a take. We do have a blue wand all of a sudden. I save my upgrades. I don't like to just randomly... Uh, or uh, merge weapons, okay? I, I like to keep all six. It does do way more damage potential to keep all six active than it is uh, to be merging them down to only having like two to three weapons. You know what I mean? It's not worth it. 
uh, y- your attack speed, your reload speed alone is going to make up for it. The the individual damage numbers compared to the like combined damage number, it's bigger. Uh, it, you're just good to go. You're good to go with uh, keeping all six out. I don't like to merge at all. That's that. Uh, the dodges need to be on point at this point. Uh, we are mage bro right now, which means we need to be careful. The mage is a very squishy character, man. We are at 23 HP. That is not a lot. We have, like, no armor. I do believe we actually don't get that much out of armor upgrades. I think that's kind of another thing with him. I don't really remember. All I know is he is a he, he's a bot for the fire dog. So here we go. What are we going to take? Harvesting? I took harvesting. Attack speed all day, all day. Element damage up all day. Uh, range is nice here. I really like range here. I think I would, I think I would take that. What would you do? I would take the element damage up with a mutation though. I would lock that. That's element damage. Uh, rain damage doesn't matter that much. Element damage does. Uh, the plant's really nice. I did not lock it. I don't blame myself too much for that one. It's all good. We're going to kill some aliens. Uh, now we're on cash rush, right? We're trying to get as much money as possible. So we're being aggressive. We know we have the damage potential to handle slugs all day. We need to really watch our reload time, though. The big thing when it comes to your damage potential is understanding your reload time and, like, getting the rhythm down when you're constantly in combat on when big damage comes out, when crowds get cleared out, when individuals get popped, and when you're not doing any damage at all. You really need to start learning your, uh, your uh, attack combinations as you go every single wave because they probably change every wave if not every couple of waves you know what I'm saying uh, knowing your own attack pattern is huge to know when you're safe if you know your next like big AOE swing all around you is coming up then obviously anything around you is going to die so you're safe to be close to stuff you know what I'm saying it's that it's that kind of thinking it, it gets a little more deep than that we're going to take the HP regen I'm sure uh, and honestly this is just beautiful uh, damage up, attack speeds up everywhere, element damage ups everywhere. Uh, burning spreads to one extra nearby enemy. We did start with a snake. We also started with a sausage finger, which, I, which again is the thing that gives you a chance to set people on fire with every hit. We do have wands, which set people on fire with every hit right now, uh, and upgrade a wand as well. Uh, we do have torches, which set people on fire, or at least do fire damage. I believe they set people on fire with a chance as well. Just like uh, the, uh, the, the wands do, uh, the knives are shooting fire balls after we hit people. Uh, and also, we're just setting people on fire with a chance with every single attack that we do. It's beautiful. The damage is gorgeous. The element damage up is just doing work. And we are on wave 8, and we are feeling like we're on wave 2. Like, this is so easy mode. Look at everything dying one hit. We're learning our attack pattern. And watch how you can play when you really learn your attack pattern. Look how crazy you can play. Do I look like a psychopath the way I'm playing right now? I kind of am, but I'm also just maxing my cash potential. You need as much money as possible in this game to thrive and survive. Uh, uh, cash is king in this game. Facts. So just get as much as you can. 204 on wave 8. I'm very happy with it. Uh, here, I don't know what I would take. Probably attack speed all day. I believe. There's no way I don't take attack speed, right? There we go. Uh, another scared sausage. That's what it is. We take the bat for the lifesteal up and the HP up as well. We lock the element damage up by a mile. And we probably keep the HP regen. It's really good. I like re... And look at our character. We're crazy looking, right? We look like the dude from uh, Madness Combat, dog. We look like Madness Combat guy. Do you know how I'm talking about? The guy who dies like 20 times in like the... Uh, like. Uh, kind of like, what was he? He was like, not really stick figure, but like doll figure. Like, kind of like, it, it was kind of inspired by stick figure, like, uh, videos back in the day. But it was just a ridiculous, if you haven't seen Madness Combat, you need to see Madness Combat. It's crazy. Uh, it's just a, a series of just over-the-top animations of crazy fights. I don't know who animated them, but it's amazing. It's fun. It's exciting. Uh, it gets my stamp of approval is one of the best things I ever saw, like in the early stages of the internet. It was in its early stages of the internet and it's amazing. It's so well done. The fights are crazy inventive. Uh, and the dude dies over and over and over and ends up looking a little bit like this. <laughs> uh, he's like the immortal, like, I will kill you, man, no matter what. Uh, and, you know, take the 9% speed up. I'm surprised I didn't take the damage up there. I, if I didn't, I'd be shocked. Burning spreads we have to take all day. All day, take that. Uh, also, our upgraded shiv is beautiful. We don't have anything piercing. We don't need the range damage up. We are aware of it, and we are going to let everything slide. Beautiful play in that shop. I'm glad. Uh, look, you ever, like, watch yourself in hindsight and also agreed with yourself? It doesn't happen with me all that often. There's a lot of times I watch stuff, and I'm like, bro, like, ah, why would I do that? And then I'm like, oh, like, you know, you know, like, that was, you know, like.
I, like it's a learning experience in like that like I watched myself back and I sucked. This time around I'm watching myself back and I'm like, bro, I'm a baller. Like this ain't just luck. I like how I'm playing. I think we're using our money wisely. I think having 120, 132 here is beautiful. I think uh, I think our cash flow is looking beautiful. I think we need to get in there, though, and start getting more of this money. Look at all the funding inside. I see it, too. I can see myself smelling blood. We're making the necessary jukes. We're really watching anyone that turns red. When you see someone turn red, get perpendicular. That's all you got to think about. There we did not. We finally got hit by somebody, but it took a long time. And the amount of money we got for it's worth it. We're at 328 now. All of a sudden, it's beautiful. Please tell me we don't take the engineering here. That would be the dumbest thing I could ever do. Don't take the engineering. 30 range, beautiful. 9% speed all day. 5% damage every 5 seconds. Yes, all day. And elemental damage. And then you just reroll that shit. Uh, extra harvesting and extra um, less en enemies is beautiful. Lock the attack speed, crit rate, and uh, something else that it did. We'll find out when we get back to it, right? Because we're going to see the shop again. We locked it. We liked it. It's purple. It's good. So here we're killing slugs. Uh, we're kind of, we always want to test ourselves. These dudes right here, you might find yourself having trouble once these dudes pop up. These like claw mouth weird things. They look like the, the Venus flytrap with like a skin on in Garden Warfare, right? Uh, those bone mouth tooth things that are coming at us with like an eye or something or something in their mouth, look. They suck. They bounce, right? They bounce no matter what you do. There's nothing you can do about it. They are going to bounce. Whatever you hit them with, they're going to bounce. If you hit them with melee weapons, they really like to swing and follow your whole swing into you and hurt you really badly. So be careful around the two things. They're dangerous, dog. I promise you. They're not it. They're not the thing. They're not the move. They're not the gesture. Stay away from them. Stay safe. Sometimes you can't get as much money as you wanted. Take that all day no matter what you have. It doesn't matter if you have engineering or not. The heal bot is OP. Take the attack chance, the crit chance, and the range up. Take the less enemies, more harvesting. We might want the melee damage. We did not. The 10% damage up all day. Uh, we don't want melee damage. That's right. I forgot. Life steal and HP regen. We do want... Gorgeous play by me in hindsight. Not good uh, 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 advice coming out of me in foresight. You know what I'm saying? But hey, man, we chop off the foresight round here. You know what I mean? We're sacrilege. You, you feel me? Uh, so we're out here chopping a thousand of these butt faces and a bunch of these charging men. If you see something red perpendicular, it's that easy. Sometimes I like to play the pause game. I like to let them start charging. You're going to see me do a lot of stopping once there's a lot of charge units around. I actually play a lot more stop and go once they're here because I really like paying attention to where they are so I don't get myself confused when I'm really playing here in the cut, in the center, and being as aggressive as humanly possible. I really like to make sure I know what's charging, where it's going, where I can be safe when I'm making sure I'm playing in the center as much as I can. And this heal bot just went through the clutch. Look how much health we just got and just squandered absolutely. But we're maintaining the heal bot and we're maintaining our health. The damage up. The 393 is such a good amount. The 30 range is really good. The 10% damage up in the life seal in the region. The alien eyes. We don't need any of that. The pickup range is good. I would probably leave everything else to drop, dog, all day. We don't... Yeah, you know what? We don't need melee or range damage. That's right. We don't need either of those, so neither of those are negative. So it's a better item than usual. There's no negativity there. We have negative 100 on both of those. We don't need range or melee damage. We only need element. We're cool with the transaction, and damage percent works on everything, so you're seeing our damage potential online with weak items. These items are not leveled up at all, dog. These items are trash. We have not had weapons to merge at all. The entire time we've been doing this, there's been nothing to merge. But look at our damage from all the items that we have and all of the element damage that we've taken. Element damage is actually bigger because you get a 50% bonus on it at all times. And then it gets hit by your damage multiplier. Once again, it's bigger than a damage multiplier ever could be. You need these element damage ups and your run could look like this with trash tier weapons. We have like a blue taser and a blue wand am i mistaken right now do we have anything crazier than that we're gonna recycle that who cares about the pencil wait we took it why that was stupid of me take the attack speed at least okay yeah that's cool oh yeah we have a blue knife and a blue wand that's all we have we don't have a blue taser that's all we have blue knife blue wand we're on wave 14 and it's easy mode 
I like Sad Tomato. Sad Tomato's OP, that a, uh, HP regen is gorgeous, especially because you don't need, uh, you know, all of your health pool when the wave starts. You should be able to get your health back with that item pretty quickly. Uh, the wave is easier early than late, so it's a gorgeous item. It doesn't hurt you at all late in the wave. So just get your health back and play like everything's fine. Especially when you have a heal bot. Of course I'm going to take the tomato. It's so good. We're going to whack out. We're doing a lot of damage right now. We haven't seen any tooth things, so we're not going to see them fly into us. I hate the tooth dudes, though. I guarantee, I promise you. Like, don't don't get me twisted there. I hate the tooth dudes. I don't see any, so I'm feeling safe for now. There we just got charged into and shot at the same time. Take the pineapple. I wish we had the tomato right now. Imagine how much health we'd be getting back right now. Now we got to play scared. We're playing safe. We're Ikaruga. In the cut, we are, oh my god, the HP situation is not good. So we gotta get up to the pair and get the health. We see another tree, we drop it, we don't get the HP for it, it's fine. We have a couple of seconds left, we are in the cut, we are paying close attention, we are dodging, we are good to go. Thank god, get the damage up, because it do work, either way, on element damage. Lock that or take that, we took it, we got a purple knife all of a sudden. That element damage up on both of those is beautiful. I think that's all we want. We go for it. We run for it. We got slugs coming. We got hairy slimes coming. The mucks, we're going to call them, dog. The hairy slimes. We got the grimers, the little slugs. We got the, uh, we got the, the shelters. Wait, no, hold on. Hold on. What is that thing's name? Shuckles. We got the shuckles, the ones that shoot at you because they're special. That's why. Okay. You got the, you got the, what are, what are the ghost ones? <laughs> what are the little ones that are running around with no clue what's happening? What could you call them? Besides, like, Walmart worms. If you remember the meme, you remember the meme. If you don't, don't let me, like, uh, you know, ruin your life. You know, it's all good. All Everyone who knows what I'm talking about when I say Walmart bra worms knows exactly what's going down. Everybody else, don't look it up. Don't look it up. I promise you, you're fine. You don't need to look it up. You don't need to look it up. You're good. Uh, we're going to chop through. The damage potential is online. The DPS is through the roof. And we're crushing it, dog. Wave four, wave three, wave two, wave... Or second, zero. What am I talking about? 389 is gorgeous. 15 materials. We'll take that for free all day. Every time we pick up a crate. Life steal up all day. Campfire all day. Uh, you know, element damage all day. It's easy. Probably take the range up here. Except I don't think we did. Uh, do we take the HP regen? I probably do. I like HP regen. It's really nice. Would I take it and just leave it be? I take it and leave it be. Look at the plays, dog. We took it and leave it be. We didn't lock anything. We have a full reroll coming on the next shot. We are only on wave 16, even though it feels like the end of the game right now. And life is beautiful. We have a lot of, uh, uh, just a lot of mucks coming. And then a lot of tangles coming. Or I, what else could we call those? <laughs> just, I guess tangle is, it's kind of a good word for it. Um... We got a lot of horsies coming, right? Um, It's kind of easy mode right now. Everything here is dying. The charging guys are the only things that don't just insta-die, but they almost do. The normal ones do. The armored ones don't. The armored ones are not insta-killable, I don't believe, but they're pretty close. You know, we can kill them quick, just not instantly. We do got to work at them a little bit. It's fine, uh, unless we have our full, like, uh, like, you know, unleash potential directly on them. Immediately, we can probably full combo them, but that's only if we can get a full combo to only hit them. Probably not going to happen all that often. 383 again. We're back up to our money. 25% attack speed while standing still. Uh, minus 10% speed is why we recycle that. 12% damage all day. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, here, I don't really know what you would take. I think you don't take anything. Don't take the hedgehog. We don't need any of that. Don't take the hedgehog. Okay. Thank God. Life steal. Enemies up. 3% damage at the end of the wave. I don't think I want more enemies. Do I? Do I want more lifesteal? Don't tell me I take the mouse. Reroll the mouse, dog. Reroll the mouse. Don't take the mouse. You don't need more enemies. We just go. We don't even reroll. We save our funding. We got 48 bucks in the pocket. And there's more tooth dudes here, dog. These dudes will bounce into you. You're going to see it happen. You can bounce them away, right? So if you have like a SMGs, anything that shoots fast, a high fire rate... And something that shoots straight, you'll bounce them away from you. And they're easy. When you have melee weapons, they suck, dog. They might fly right into you, I swear to God. Look at that shit. Look at that, dog. They'll be anywhere they want to be, right? It's one of the things, like, when I grow up, I'll be what I want to be by uh, Nas, right? Is that is that? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? That's Nas, right? Anyways, I, I'll be what I want to be. I'll be what I want to be. You know that song? 
Bro, we're getting them slammed into us, and it's not a good time. Right, welcome to the Krusty Krab. Something bad, chum bucket. Wave 17 is looking tough. Uh, we're kind of crushing through it, but we're finding our survivability to be lackluster. We have no HP. We have 41 health. How are we even clutching this right now? We have 41 health. We are playing extremely well somehow. We are getting $356 right there in 8 max HP. Ain't so bad. And a wolf helmet says uh, 8 elemental damage and 15 luck, but minus engineering, which is fine. We should have taken vigilant, though. 3% damage at the end of the wave. Why did we not take that? 3% damage at the end of the wave. Why did we not take that? We need that immediately. I should have taken it first and then gotten the wolf. I got excited about a legendary element up item, though. It looks pretty cool. The damage is online. We're crushing it. We're nuking the waves in this wave. I find wave 18 to be easy early on, no matter what run I'm on almost. Uh, these enemies are very easily killable. They're just, you know, Minnesota Vikings. That's all they are. It's not that hard to beat them. If you lost to them, you know, it is what it is. You know, you got you to take it on the chin. Take it like a man and get back to the bench, you know. You're almost through the tutorial. You've almost beaten the Minnesota Vikings. Now we're going to heal up. We're going to chop out in all directions. The worms have taken their drool upon their face by the slap of the what are we right now. Remember what we were earlier? We are not what we were earlier. Remember what we were earlier? We are suddenly like like a port. We're suddenly a pirate port or something. And also we're Captain John Smith Jacob Jingleheimer. It's not a good time. Elemental damage up, we take that all day. 6 HP up, we take that all day. 3% damage at the end of the wave, please, for the love of God, take it. For the love of God, take it. For the love of God, take it. Just take it. What am I doing right now? What am I doing? And I re-rolled it? Oh, because we have no waves left. Oh, I'm a genius in hindsight. Please tell me I locked the monkey. I'm a genius because there's no waves left. I said, who cares? Oh my, I said save the money for stuff that's going to help us more than 6% uh, damage. What? What are you, I mean, it's like 300 bucks, I get it. And an item slot, you know, it's a, it, it, it's taking up a reroll. What? Am I a genius in hindsight? Am I a genius? Is that why, oh my god, the HP doc. Now it's time to play our brains out, we're in the cut. We're in the cut, we're by our HP bot, we grabbed a pineapple, it's all good. We're grabbing the green stuff. As Demi Lovato told Joe Rogan, Doc, he knows what the green stuff is, you dumb fucking god damn it. Anyways, hold on, hold on. We're going to chop through. We're going to chop through. We're going to move on through. We're going to cut through the cut like nothing's up. We're understanding our damage potential. We're understanding our attack combination at a very high level right now because it hasn't changed. Our weapons are still a purple, a blue, and a bunch of grays, I believe. Our weapons are not it. Our weapons are not taking the vibe check. We take the slow enemies on shot. We take a monkey and we take a all around stat up and we re reroll. That's it. What do we get for it, man? Like, I mean, we may as well take something here. Should we take the elemental damage up by a lot? I think we did. And we go. We're on wave 20. Elemental damage up by a lot. We have a purple, a blue, and a bunch of grays for weapons. Can we even kill the boss? Is that even a possibility? Because we look like we're trying, dog, and that's not the thing to do. We look like we're trying, Doc. So we're going to hold still, you know? We're going to hold still if we can. We're going to do damage to the boss. And that's going to be that. Uh, we got hit, so we're going to move, and we're fine. You know, we're, we're, we took a pineapple. We got hit again. We're healing up quick. We got hit again. It's okay. We're healing up fast. We didn't get hit that time. And we're healing up a little faster every time we pick up consumables because of the monkey that we took in the shop. And we also have our heal bot right here, so we're just standing here. I didn't see us take any damage. We're not taking any contact damage at all, standing where we're standing. No contact damage at all. And then suddenly we got hit, and we are down to 40 and 20 and 6 HP. We're down to 15 HP, 16 HP. We won the run. That's it for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Peace out.